Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Today is September 24, 2024. It is 2.46 a.m. The tweet that I'm about to share with you, it should have been on our part of Pew Service because majority of the tweets will focus on Harry's work and things like that. But the channel is demonetized, okay? So if I'm spending some time putting these things together for you, I might as well make a penny. So I will be sharing it here on PYTE. Okay, so this is the background, 3,980 subscribers, new subscribers, welcome. Estimate revenue, $40.58. Analytics, there it is, 825 views in the last 48 hours. All right, so let's go on Twitter. I'm starting with this tweet first because I feel like this is where Americans sort of give, you know, Harry uh, a helping hand and said, you know, you fought along with us in the battlefield. We're not going to leave you behind. So I decided since some squaddies were talking about this, it came on my timeline. I felt this would be the first tweet to share with you. Okay. Remember when the Dementors, Pa and Willie, thought they isolate Prince Harry only for his photo to have pride of place of Biden's inauguration. Harry will always be our global prince. All right? So this is during 
President Biden's inauguration. This is the picture one of the squad put here, but this picture that was taken of another picture just caught the corner of it. And then the squad, whoever put this out, saying this is that one over there. Okay, so there's me here. All right, yep, the royal family should have allowed the reef he purchased be laid at the senator. The world was and continued to watch the royal family debacle. Harry fought alongside the U.S. The U.S. sent a message that they will not leave Harry behind. They got him. All right, outstanding. I forgot that. Thanks for posting. There's the loving eyes. I love that. It was so good. All right, so that's that. Let's go to the next tweet. Now, the next two tweets that I'm about to share with you, this is also leading up to why Harry got the kind of police protection that he now has every time he will be coming to the uh, to New York. All right? He just needs to let them know he's coming so they could prepare for him. So this is why, okay, before I get to the recent video of uh, Harry and New York. So we're going back last year, 2023, okay? So I'm not going to go to the uh, tweet. I'm just going to share the video with you, okay? And uh, it will be screenshot. I probably would just leave that as the thing. Just listen to what happened back then. Breaking, Prince Harry and his wife, Megan, were involved in a near catastrophic car chase with paparazzi in New York, spokesperson said. All right, it's a minute and 54 seconds, and I believe there's another one here. Is that the same thing? Yeah, it could be the same thing. Let's see. And his wife, Megan, reportedly being involved in a, quote, near catastrophic car accident with paparazzi last night in New York City. At this time, we are told, uh, at least we're not aware of any injuries to Harry, Megan or her mother. And according to Reuters, as we're learning more about just the circumstances of this, this incident happened yesterday after Megan and Harry attended an award ceremony in New York. Megan was honored with a Women of Vision Award. A spokesperson for Harry said in a statement, quote, this relentless pursuit lasting over two hours resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. Let's bring in NBC's Ali Aruzi covering for this story for us. What more are you learning, Ali? Hi there. Well, we're just getting uh, details are coming through right now, but it seems like this was a two-hour pursuit of Meghan, Harry, and uh, Meghan's mother across the streets in New York. It was a few near catastrophic collisions while the paparazzi were relentlessly pursuing them through the streets. We're learning that there were uh, as many as six blacked out vehicles involved in this pursuit of, of the couple. Uh, and the couple accepted a heightened level of attention when they're in the public, but this, they say, was just an unacceptable amount of intrusion into their lives and into their safety. Um, uh, a, a statement from a spokesman for the couple said, last night the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Mrs. Raglan were involved in a near catastrophic car crash at the hands of a ring of a highly aggressive uh, paparazzi. And of course, that brings up memories of uh, Prince Harry's late mother, Princess Diana who was relentlessly pursued by the, uh, by the paparazzi and that all culminated in that fatal car crash in Paris. All right, so there's another one. I have several videos that pretty much illustrate what happened back then for those who may not understand why they have the protection. And I'm pretty sure, I didn't read some of the comments, but uh, when we start reading some of the comments, when I start reading some of the comments, I'm sure some derangers will be popping up saying why they're getting this type of protection. This is another one. A spokesman for Prince Harry and Meghan referred to a paparazzi car chase involved a couple Tuesday night as a near catastrophic. Two senior law enforcement sources provided NBC News a different version of the intensity of the situation, calling it a bit chaotic scene. It's almost two minutes as well. I'm your breaking news just from here in New York where a spokesperson for Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, says that the couple was involved in what they called a near catastrophic car chase with paparazzi here in New York last night. Obviously, that is reminiscent of the, the horror of Princess Diana's death. Meghan's mother was with the couple. The spokesperson says that the pursuit lasted more than two hours after the couple left a charity event. 
The spokesperson's description does differ from what two senior law enforcement sources tell NBC News. The law enforcement saying, quote, that the incident was a bit of a chaotic scene. They say that the couple drove to a police station where officers helped them get off the block and to their residence without being followed. Joining us now is NBC correspondent Ron Allen and NBC royal commentator Daisy McAndrew from London. Ron, uh, bring us up to speed just on what we know. Well, we're still trying to sort out exactly what happened. As you pointed out, there are differing versions of the, the intensity of this situation. What we do know is that uh, Harry and Meghan were here at the Ziegfeld Theater. She was accepting an award, and there were paparazzi outside the theater who wanted pictures and wanted to know where they're staying. They were trying to get to a residence, apparently, in the Upper East Side, which is about a mile or two from here is the beginning of the Upper East Side, Manhattan. It's 10 o'clock at night, so there's a lot of people around. There's a lot of traffic, and apparently there's a person suit as they are leaving. We understand that uh, there was an NYPD police car that was uh, leading uh, the car that the Sussex were in, and there may have been other security. We don't know the extent of that. But that's the beginnings of it. And as you said, the spokesperson for the, the Harry and Meghan described it as a relentless pursuit, um, re resulting in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two... Okay. If you want to know more about this, I have some videos. I'm not sure if it's on this channel or at your Team Sussex. Go check them out. And I have one more to share with you why Harry and Meghan needed the kind of protection. All right. This is the other one that I have. Let's pause. TMZ, an inhuman U.S. cyborg, report the severity of the event of several people chasing Harry and Meghan in New York City. Now, this one is a bit longer, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Again, it's just going to be a screenshot. Just listen to it, okay? Traffic to thwart the paparazzi that were following the Now, they say that um, pedestrians were almost hit, cars were almost hit, in New York City so they could sort of make a hasty retreat and, and lose the path, but it didn't work at, at all. And this does sound absolutely harrowing. Uh, people driving the wrong way, apparently cars getting up on sidewalks. And for Harry, this has to be traumatizing because his mother was killed during a path chase in Paris in 1997 when he was just 12 years old. So all those memories had to come flooding back when he's in the car. So this cab that um, left that police station kind of circled apparently and then came back, I don't know, 15 minutes yeah. later. 15 minutes later goes back to the precinct and they get out of the cab and get back in the SUV that they were in originally um, because I, I'm guessing here they didn't want the cab driver to be in trouble. Yeah, well, also, they don't know how good of a driver he is. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, the cab driver himself might have been like, I, I don't want to do part of this. I didn't know that there was a chase going right. on. Right. Um, so they so came back to the, uh, to the precinct, got in an SUV. And this lasted until midnight. Now, a lot of people have kind of suggested or wondered why didn't they just. Okay. So that's that. Now let's get to a more recent video. This was yesterday. Heavy in New York City. And by the way, after the chase, the police, you know, their investigation, they saw everything that happened. They understand the situation. The, the NYPD told Heavy and Megan to just let them know in advance when they're coming so they could provide the security. Now, this is the security that they're getting. Also, let's not forget as well. When Harry and Meghan were in New York, the tabloid in the UK knew 
they were gonna be over there they were they quickly took this down but um at that time they had put some sort of a bounty if they get certain pictures certain ways or whatever okay i don't want to describe it you know the the bounty the money will go up so this is why the chase was so severe now after that i don't know if the nypd were aware of that particular bounty that the uk tabloid had put out but they quickly took it down though um now this is the kind of security the nypd is providing harry and megan okay but this time it's just harry he's the only one in new york okay let me pause okay this one is only 41 seconds prince harry in new york today i'm happy to see he is accompanied by a heavy protection detail truth is important dignitaries require security son of the great princess diana no less the fact that king charles denied his own son this protection remain highly suspicious okay L let's not forget okay charles is pretty much on the tabloid side but there were many serious credible threats against megan were there emanating from the far right absolutely if you'd seen the stuff that was written and you were receiving it the kind of rhetoric that's online if you don't know what i know you would feel under threat all of the time so you were convinced that there was a genuine threat to megan's life on a you know, on more than one occasion, on several occasions. Absolutely. We had teams investigating it. People have been prosecuted for those. Things. My father used to say to me when I was younger, he used to say to both William and I, well, it was like that for me, so it's going to be like that for you. That doesn't make sense. Just because you suffered, that doesn't mean that your kids have to suffer. In fact, quite the opposite. If you suffered, do everything you can to make sure that whatever experiences you, negative experiences that you had, that you can make it right for your kids. We chose to put our mental health first. That's what we're doing and that's what we will continue to do. Isn't this all about breaking the cycle? Isn't this all about making sure that history doesn't repeat itself? That whatever pain and suffering has happened to you that you don't pass on okay they mold him since child to believe that the tabloid is the only thing that could make his uh i don't know his kingship be what it is i don't know how he processed this kind of things but this is something that since he was young you know but anyway let's focus on this 41 seconds They just want to make sure there is no other pedestrian or random acts happen. You know, they want to protect public interests. All right. They want to protect the public as well, because the thing that had happened last year where paparazzi is jumping uh, the sidewalk, some cars on the side. You saw the videos that I share with you. I mean, I know probably going to just put screenshot, but you heard what happened uh, back then. Let's read some of the comments. When Charles chose to have children, he also made the choice to provide protection for them for the rest of his natural life. They thought the price of privacy, security, will break Harry and Meghan, that it will force them back. Security even blacked the trolling British press back from taking pictures. <laughs> I'm telling you, the squad will always pick the good things out of the picture. Royal family want the Sussexes too much of a problem particularly megan if megan were still in uk her life okay her life will be in constant danger and they will try and die on her okay what will happen to harry when william is king what nothing things will go on as it is now 
It was already destined for William to be where he's at. It's just that Harry now, who carved out his own path, they wanted Harry to be just the scapegoat, the one who worked behind William. And Harry said, okay, I'm going to carve my own path. And let's not forget that as well. It was William who made the decision for Harry. And Harry made the best of it. All right. So what happened will ha uh, when William become king? William will become king. Let me respond to that. So this is what I would. William, th this is what the person would. What will happen to Harry when William is king? William will become king the way it was destined for William. William should focus on the peasant of his kingdom. Or the peasant of his kingdom could, could have a different idea for him. I add this. And Harry will continue to mind his own business. That's that. Uh, right? So there's more comment under that. Let's move on. Let's go to the next tweet. I have a lot more to share with you. I think I have about 14 tweet. And so far, I think I did four of them already. Oh, this is the fifth one. Next tweet. Let's pause. This is making reference to the security level that Harry has. And this is the one that I just share with you. This is just a retweet of it. I want to focus on the comments here. The way New York City got their shit together and changed their protocol for when Harry and Meghan visit after what happened last May bring total and complete shame upon the UK who refused to provide police protection to Harry and his family. Thanks New York City for looking after our faith. Yes, they want to make sure Harry is safe in the US uh, in New York while he's there, but also New York City is a city that very populated. People walking all around and not only that, now many streets are blocked or closed or uh, they do they really change the traffic in New York City because uh, too many cars are coming in. So they changed the way the street is directed now. So there's going to be more people on the street. So they want to make sure the people, okay, are safe. Instead of those crazy people trying to get a few seconds of a, a picture. Okay, so it's also for the people as well. Let me read some of the comments. Paparazzi hopping curbs in order to try and find out where Harry and Meghan were staying was not a good look. Glad risk was reassessed and change were made. And also we have to thank God they survived that night. But um, the Lord was looking out for them because of, because of their stupidity. Now it will cost Harry less when he comes to New York. Okay, he will still bring his own security and to coordinate with the police but the level of security that he will be paying just to do charitable work you know charity he's donating his time to do all of this for free but it's costing him a lot to bring his own security so now especially this week his security you know is more hype more there's more security for him but it's not gonna cost him extra he will still bring his own security exactly thankful harry recorded all on his phone yeah and i realized it's almost everywhere that he goes what was it over the weekend um was it the weekend or there were some pictures that were taken where he's going to tyler perry's house or something like that that's what they say a party i don't know if it's tyler perry's house party or something like that but in the back you could see him uh facing the camera in front of him and I even pointed out in that particular video that I was talking about. I think the UK press pissed them off. They put pressure on the mayor and hounding the police department over nothing just because it was Harry and Meghan. New York don't play. Again, it's because of poli uh, the, 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 the pedestrian. They want to make sure the pedestrians are safe. I have a screenshot where nypd did his assessment and i think i have it also where it says just look at the screen i have some stuff regarding the nypd i don't remember what all of them were about but they had to do with after the chase okay nypd we're not kidding when they say his security protocol will be upgraded when he is in the city good on them this is great to see well done new york city let the hate begin starting with taxpayers being mad the they could but at the same time, we know what happened. This is the thing here. We understand. We understand why certain thing is done. Because 
I even said back then, let's say there's a parent or even myself walking, minding my own business. And then there's Harry minding his own business, trying to get from point A to point B. And then paparazzi is chasing him. And then things could happen. And innocent people who's minding their own business get hit by those idiots who's running wild trying to get a few seconds of a picture. Okay, so we understand it could easily be anyone on the street, anyone who's minding its own business. Just go back to some of the videos back then that I did. All right. Um, well, this person is making to the taxpayers being mad, but I don't know if he's talking about um, and 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 what do you call this in New York? Okay, let the hate begin starting with taxpayers being mad. I don't know if she's talking about New York City taxpayers being mad, but if it's the left behind us, that's the, that's on them. If it's in the UK, that's on them. They could be mad as much as they want, but in New York, we could understand. Okay, I don't live in New York, but when I I go there very often, very often, because I still have family over there. But many times, like my youngest, love to go to Central Park. Many times my husband, you know, take him to Central Park and things like that. But you just never know. Okay, the fact that the UK will not agree to provide security for the few times he is in the UK. Well, let's just say, they did say they need 28 days in advance. Why that long? Okay, we have an idea why they want that 28 days notice. Okay, so what Harry has done when he's in the UK, he just doesn't tell anybody. It's after he done his thing and then he he's out of there and people know that he was over there. All right? And God will always be with him whenever he's doing this type of things because there's a... a, a a lawsuit that's coming a trial that's coming in january of next year so they don't want this to go to trial he is the only one who's taking it all the way over there this far so they don't want him to take it over there so we have an idea why they want that 28 days notice and let's not forget in the uk his family is way up there they have control of everything and then if something happened to him and they said, this cannot happen, this cannot happen, or Megan cannot see him, or anything, that's it. There's nothing anybody else can do. I bought this time a long time ago. Okay, so let's not forget about that. All right, the fact that the UK will not agree to provide security for the few time he is in the UK, when they provide full security plus a car, to a uh, XPM who wasn't in office long enough to find the ladies room. <laughs> Is it Liz? It, it, I don't know. <laughs> they just baggage for God. That's all I could say. New York City was like, nobody is going to be Diana and our turf. There's a thumbs up and the like. I think I need to support the dog handler. <laughs> dog handler. Okay. <laughs> he was looking good. He's in good shape too. Uh, there's such an obvious reason why he feels safer in every other country than he does in the UK. Facts. Facts are the reason. The only people who believe otherwise get all their news from hate rags that spin false hate narrative about Harry and Meghan and false hero stories about William and Kate. Okay, yes, facts. The fact is, Megan even looks more calm and relaxed everywhere else, which she said when she went to Colombia. Everywhere else she's been to, and recent years, expect, expect, uh, except, except the UK. You can see the tension in her neck, yeah, uh, because she knows the threat she was exposed to while there. The UK is so deeply problematic. And the worst thing is, okay, Megan used to go over there before uh, meeting Harry, where the hotel where uh, she usually stays, she will leave her stuff there. She will literally leave her stuff there because she travel over there very often. Eh, I guess uh, it's very sad. Oh, this is someone that I black. <laughs> and I put you all You know, for the sake of this video, let me read this. Uh, why boring this is what she said boring and that's me responding 42 minutes ago lol love seeing the time energy 
to click and search for a GIF that fits the lie while you even click on the content that you truly know what it is about. You want us to believe you don't care. It clearly demonstrates you are a stalker who can't stop looking at anything Sussex content. <laughs> stalker alert. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. <laughs> I forget I responded to that. Next one. So this is one of the events Heavy attended while in New York. I think that happened yesterday as well, Monday. Prince Harry arrived at the 2024 Concordia Annual Summit in New York City. He spoke on the panel, The Global Mental Health Crisis Among Young People, a conversation with Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and Dr. Tessie Ojo, CBE, CEO of the Diana Award. Okay, so they came over here. That's very nice. The Diana Award is a living legacy to Diana Princess, all right, Princess of Wales. Okay, 29 seconds. It's not that long, but I'll try to manipulate it a little, a little bit, but where you could still see the video. The Diana Award is a living legacy to Diana, Princess of Wales. And usually when I talk about this, I have to try and tell you what, who we are and maybe tell you who Princess Diana is. But well, today I don't have to do that because I'm thrilled to be joined today by her son, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. That's nice. Like, I don't have to say it. There's her son. <laughs> the okay, so here. that's that. Okay, there's no comment, but there's a lot of retweet. Uh, can I see these comments? No, only people she allowed to who could see it. Okay, so let's go to the next one. I don't know if it's a retweet of that because I was seeing a couple retweets. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to touch your hand when I said this, but it's time. All right. <laughs> it's not his fault. His grandparents were cousins, okay? <laughs> uh, not the cousin. Snatched hands away. He still has the front. <laughs> Talking about his hair. Um, He found Megan's burner. How dare you? It's just bad lighting. Girl, I don't know how many times I have to keep saying this. No, it's not. Leave has alone. <laughs> Girl, look with your eyes. <laughs> there's the hair. The hair is gone. Oh, well, there's nothing. He even admitted when he was uh, in one of those uh, TV shows where um, Invictus was uh, taking place. He said his hair was doomed. So he accepted it. Okay. Oh, you've got a lot more to be done. Uh, huh? It's it's uh, also empty when she's done. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna take a long time before I. Uh... You're you're but you're slower than me. I'm already. I'm doomed. We're having the same barber, I guess. I thought <laughs> <laughs> It's the squad who's making a story out of it. Next one. Okay, Prince Harry at the Concordia Summit on mental health. Okay, that's just a picture. Okay, so that's that. That's it with this tweet. Let's go to the next one. Okay. While chatting with his family, Harry pinned the camera to around the room, giving his children a mini virtual tour of the event space. I, I don't know. Unless the person who was there saw that. I, let's say allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. Because there's no way while he's on the phone, you're going to be next to him to know. Unless if he said it somewhere, I don't know. Because when you're talking so, to someone on the phone, it has to be somewhat private. Next one, there's another picture. Can Megan Marco kidnap me next? There's that. Yeah, he's truly having fun. Look at his smile. He looked miserable with that cute ass smile on his face. All Megan's fault. <laughs> The squad love to throw shit. No, I'm next, Megan. Kidnap me, please. You have to get in the queue. Uh, get in line, honey. The line extend from Cali to New York City, so it's going to take a while. There's that. The squad just making fun of it. Because that's what the... the <laughs> this one said back in line. Because that's what uh, the UK media want people to believe that uh, Harry was kidnapped, so the squad make... <laughs> Took it to another level. If his kidnap is that happy, you might as well get me too. And the squad will be as happy as Harry is. It was a great decision for Harry to attend the UNGA solo. This was all eyes on him and the media is forced to focus on his talks at all the various events. Uh, that said, I'm impressed by all the different speeches he had to prepare for. I'm telling you, his confidence and skill has just skyrocketed. Harry's looking so miserable in bed with a woman he loves 
and like with the sun hitting his face in the morning uh, a beautiful beach close by a house with 100 bathroom happy wife and kids absolutely freedom to decide about their life such misery Harry has to endure these last five years poor thing <laughs> The squad just made throwing shade. Okay, Harry is miserable. He wants to come back. He's not happy. He's Megan's slave from Angela Levine, then Wooten, and the others. But he is Harry. The guy is thriving. He's glowing. He's finally happy for real. Love that. The glow on that man. I love how he flaunt his wings always, 100%. Okay, after this too, that's it. Uh, he can fake that smile. He smile with his eyes. But he always looks so unhappy, according to the British media. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Prince Harry in New York City. Event 2, Diana Award, Mental Health Panel, Rapturous Applause, Standing Room Only. Attendees quickly pull out their phones. Okay, so I guess this is someone who said, maybe that's from an article. Now let's see here. Prince Harry, 40, said on Monday, mental health was a very, very important subject that affects every one of us. As he joined Tessie Ojo, CEO of the Diana Award, for a panel discussion about the global mental health crisis. Dressed in a dark blue suit and a matching tie, he appeared nervous as he walked onto the stage, which is that video that I just showed you, at the Sheraton Hotel in Manhattan to rapturous hope applaud, clutching some notes. There was standing room only at the Concordia Annual Summit event and attendees quickly pull out their phones to record videos of Harry walking on stage, which is one of those we just saw. Uh, the pan through the room and you could see folks standing with their phones. I watched and recorded the video. He didn't look nervous at all. Prince Harry was so affable. All right, let's go to the next one. I have two more after this. I have a video to edit from yesterday. Next one. Halo is delighted to welcome Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, to our UNGA side event in New York today. Held in partnership with the Angola government, the Duke will join us to celebrate progress on landmine clearance in Angola since the 1990s. Okay, so that's from the Telegraph. Hmm. I wasn't planning to read the article. There's the link here. Oh, you have to pay to read it. It seems like. Let me see something. Okay, so let's read. I may not read all of it. Let's see what this is about. Prince Harry to channel his mother with Diana-inspired event. The Duke of Sussex will champion causes intrinsically linked to Diana's legacy during two days of high-profile events in New York. Okay. When he was 18, the Duke of Sussex vowed to finish the work started by his mother, Princess Diana. More than two decades on, he remained true to his words. On Monday, he will take to the stage before a global audience to champion two causes intrinsically linked to her legacy, landmines and young people. Prince Harry 40 will be the star guest at five high-profile events held over two days in New York during UN General Assembly, High Level Week and Climate Week, which will also see him focus on conservation, sustainable travel, and the many crises facing the tiny African country of Lesotho. Okay, since this is talking about what will happen, so we already there now. So I thought they were gonna talk about what happened. So they just saying what will happen, but not what already happened. Okay. So the link of this will be in the description if you wanna read it. Okay. There's that. Awesome. I'm very glad that Harry is continue is continuing highlight the vital work that you do, Prince Harry. You all love. Okay, the world is happy to work with Prince Harry, his mother's son carrying her legacy forward into a new generation. Harry said, service is universal. HRH Prince Harry following the work of his mom, Princess Diana. I'm just so proud of him. Prince Harry is a global statesman. Harry is beautifully continuing his mother Diana dream and legacy. All right, so there's more to it. Let's go to the next one. 162. Okay, I have one more after that. Okay, let's pause here. Okay, Senator Chris Kuhn thanks and honor Prince Harry after Harry's speech for the Halo Trust. Pre By the way, there was um, one tweet I did a while back where all of them, I think Harry took him and some other senators to, some, uh, to see some of the work that was happening in Africa. And I think he was one of them as well who went along with Harry. 
Wow, I completely forgot about that. Oh, my headphone fell. Okay, let's see here. Prince Harry, thank you for your leadership, for your heart, for your vision, for sustaining the legacy of your mother, and for inspiring a new generation around the world to be engaged in this critical work against the courage of landmines. Okay, it's only 22 seconds. It is indeed a good afternoon and such a blessing and joy to be with you. Prince Harry, thank you for your leadership, for your heart, for your vision, for sustaining the legacy of your mother and for inspiring a whole new generation around the world to be engaged in this critical work against the scourge of landmines. To mine. Oh, it that is, is so nice. That is so nice. Okay, such kind words. Thanking a British prince for his leadership is no small thing. A prince with no obligation to lead, he could have spent his days hunting and shooting behind high castle walls. That's for sure. Thank you, Senator Coons, for honoring the people's prince. He truly is an incredible human being, globally adored. Okay, Duchess Meghan wanting her hubby, Harry, to get his flowers. Okay, that was amazing to hear. Uh, Harry deserves every bit of honor and recognition he's receiving. He's a genuinely good man. Leadership, heart, vision, and inspiration. High praise, well deserved. So very nice to hear this. Okay? So th there's more comment. I just don't want to scroll. <laughs> this is my last one for this video. Okay? So this one, I don't know if this is a squad. Lately, I've been seeing his tweet. Proud dad of two, doctor, passionate about family, people, human rights, nature, garden, my beloved Scotland and Burnley FBPE. I've been seeing his uh, tweet on my timeline lately. This is not someone that I follow, but he be talking about some very reasonable things. Prince William's formality and lack of empathy often seems to distance him from audiences, while Prince Harry's openness and ability to connect with people from all walks of life, like at the Invictus Games, highlight his relatable and usually impressive personable touch. Do you agree? Okay, let's see here. I think it's a shame that William didn't find a passion project earlier in his life. There are a handful of people in this world who can fake sincerity with William's world is not among them. He comes across as distant, older than his chronological age. <laughs> Maybe more importantly, he, what is it? Uh, uh, more importantly, he often comes across as unprepared and uncaring. Yeah, I don't think he care. I don't know what they're telling him. He could never be wrong, so I don't know. All right, so this one is someone that I black she respond to. Well, and he had a father who was jealous of any attention he received and was too busy fighting his own battle. Okay, at the end of the day, William is an adult who should work on himself, but this was also an an institutional failure that's for sure that's when i black wow <laughs> i black this one you come back a couple times 42 is pushing it to develop the emotional intelligence it will take to admit something that gone wrong at the end of the day the hereditary system is just golden child versus scapegoat on steroid and it's rare for a gc to really come out of the fog I think we have been watching the meltdown within the family system that happened when the scapegoat lived. I worry for the world's children, as usually. What happened is the system find a new scapegoat, huh, Louis. And I think Louis is not going to be playing with them. Agree, he should have chosen something related to sport because he does seem interesting in that, like creating sports program for kids or something, and kept his focus narrow. But of his problem is he wants to dip his fingers in every pie. That's a that's a very good point. Okay, I think in the end, his biggest problem is he wants the deference and respect without putting in any actual work. It's easy to want a piece of every pie. That's a very good point. I didn't know this good conversation was there. Okay, let's start all over. I lose where I was. Okay, I think at the end, his biggest problem is he wants the deference and respect without putting in any actual work. It's easy to want a piece of every pie when you aren't actually making the pie. Say what you want about Charles, but if his personal failure hadn't had been so insane, he would be considered one of the best uh, Prince of Wales, he put his head down and built actual lasting project. Yeah, there's some project um, that he did that I'm really, you know, it will caught my attention. 
because he's into art and architecture and all of that. But his evilness, you know, just like, yeah, stay away from that. All right, William just won the fame and attention. I have said for years, Kate should have been giving a handful of sporting-based charities and put on a schedule. That is true. You could see when she first came into, well, at least from looking back at some pictures, because I wasn't following them when they were dating or anything like that. It's when the debacle with Harry and Meghan start popping up on the, my timeline. Not on my timeline, and the news. And then later on, you know, I log into twitter to find out what all the tobacco was all about but when looking back at some old pictures of uh, kate she was very like athletic built she wasn't muscular but you could see someone who does sport so this person is right i agree they should have put something or give her something that deal with sports because a lot of kids this is what get their mind away from any problem sports is very good thing to for distraction Okay, William has had privilege on steroids. Unlike his father, he never went to a school where he was unpopular and out of his element. Divorcing parents meant that he was spoiled by both sides and whatever discipline Diana tried to impose was undermined. That is true. But what magnified all of that? That's a very good thing. Uh, very Not good, very good thing. That's a very good point. Okay. Oh, let me read everything. Yep, that's what I said. Deep instead of big. LOL. He doesn't want to work, doesn't make an effort. The only thing he seems excited is to do is attend football matches. Focus on that. There's young people who's doing nothing. There's they doing crime or whatever. Build program to train them to be either what's the two main sports in the UK? Rugby and football. Right? Soccer. They call it soccer in the US. Okay, so create something for them. Because he enjoyed watching those games. So it would have been nice to see a young kid where he helped his, I don't know, his abilities to make it eventually to professional level. That would be a good thing for him. Focus on that. To be honest, there's a lot he can't do. He could probably hire a super agent but wouldn't know how to do what needs to be done or spend the money to do it. The thing is that he could hire the best of the best. But if William does not have his own vision to tell the person, this is what I want, help me reach that vision. But the thing is that, and I think I spoke about it once, they hire the person to help them, but they want the person to do what they want and the way that they want. So what is it you hiring the person for? If the person is specialized on this particular skills, you hire them to do that, right? Once you give them your idea and they run with it, I could understand you could say when they bring it back to you and say, mm, I don't, can you make it a little bit something else? And then the person go back to the drawing board and put that criticism that William probably gave them into the line of his profession. You know, it's almost like saying, I want a house with four bedroom, bathroom or whatever. And you tell the architect that. And then the architect go to the drawing board, <laughs> now it's computer, and put that into drawing. And then when the architect bring it back to you and you say, oh, I want my room, let's say the master bedroom, okay, to be away from everything else. And then the, the architect goes back and rearrange things and put it in a way where it fits you know, and flow of the house. But what William, it seems like from the outside, they hire, let's say, I could only speak in terms of architecture where they hire the architect and then they're telling the architect where to put the lines and how to put the lines and all of that. And then it's pretty much you not giving the architect um, the time and ability to express his skills. So they want to do the thing themselves while they just have the person there. And it's not going to work that, that well, I think. I hope I explain it in a way for you to understand. They want to direct everything. It's almost like as well. When they see, for instance, uh, let's say a football player, anyone who already made it big, right? They want that person to be on their team. And then as soon as the person comes on their team, they crush the person's ability to be that vibrant this type of a person the person used to be and then conform them 
to the level of their boringness. Okay? They just don't want people to be better than them. Okay? They have to be. Remember that I have that thumbnails of the UK flag where I have God and then below God is the firm which consists of the the crown and the monarch. And then below that it's all the peasants and then the peasant break down into other sub peasants. Okay? So they have to be the one on top. So if you're becoming popular, very cheerful, where the world is loving you or whatever, they want you to be on their side. Once you become on their side, they bring you down to their level. They have to be the one on top. Okay? So that's the way they are. I guess this is the best way to explain it. Okay? To be honest, there's a lot he can't do. He could probably hire a super agent but will know how to do what needs to be done or spend the money to do it. They will never have a global power and respect that granny had and they don't get why. Agree? Spot on. All right. So that is it. Let's do a prayer for Harry. He um, prayer for security and respect. Let's do it. I don't know. These two words came to me. Prayer for security and respect. Okay, let's read this one. Jesus, my Lord, I place my life in your hands. You are always faithful to rescue and protect me from evil people who want to harm my loved ones or me. Put us in the right places at the right time to avoid harm. God, my life, O Lord, from the works of the evil one. Okay, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. I'll try to put some short videos on uh, our part of Pure Service, but I will be putting these videos here on Pure YTE because this channel is monetized. They demonetize the other channel, our part of Pure Service. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching.